five, and they will play the winner of UTEP at Middle Tennessee in the semifinal tomorrow at eight o'clock. We have head coach Randy Norton and student athletes Maya Barnes and Deanna Kuzmanic, and we will begin with an opening statement from coach. Well, it's always nice to get that uh, first conference game out of the way. I've always felt like that's even a tougher game than the championship game. You've always got the first round jitters, um, but man, I really liked the way our team came out of the gates. I thought we just came out with a ton of energy. I thought we were sharp, we were crisp. You know, in a, in a 40 minute game, you're gonna have some lulls. We definitely had some lulls and part of that's due to, uh, to Charlotte. They, they've they got a very nice basketball team. It's a team that beat us at their place earlier in the year. So all in all though, uh, I, I'm really proud of our kids and I feel like our team is, is really starting to play our best basketball at the right time. Questions for our student athletes? Maya, um, you came out of the gate five for five from deep. When you have it going like that, I mean, how do you how do you keep that that momentum rolling throughout the rest of the game? Um, I just continue to have confidence. Try to stay with confidence for forty minutes, and it's all. And Deanna, um, shooting wise, pr probably not how you would like it to go, but you impacted the game in so many other ways. Um, if you could just go into some detail on how you were able to do that, both on the glass and, and getting other teammates involved. Yeah, um, I think, like you mentioned, Maya went five for five from the get. And when I have my teammates who can you know, score and are shooting so well, it's, you know, I'm, I'm going to start looking for her. And that's an easy way to, to make my impact on the game by getting my teammates open. So even if I'm not scoring, I know that I can get p other people open and get them opportunities. And as you guys get this first one under your belt and move on to the, the next round, it's not finished yet, but it's looking like it might be Middle Tennessee, a team you're familiar with. Um, how, do, how do you, I know it's right afterwards, but how do you how do you move forward and, and get focused on that one? Um, yeah, it's just one game at a time. So, you know, we're happy we won this game, but it's over with now. we got to prepare for the next one and just keep our eyes one day at a time. All right, we'll let uh, Maya and Deanna get back to the locker room, and we will continue with questions for Coach. Thank you. Good job, ladies. Thank you. <clears throat> Coach, you touched on the, the hot start shooting. Um, when you're able to build a lead, so uh, such a big lead early on, um, how, is, how difficult is it to keep them focused, especially when you get to the break, to, to not kind of let off the pedal a little bit? You know, we just talk so much about we want to play as hard as we can on each possession. And it's, it's a long game. It's in basketball, more than any other sport, there's so many runs, you know. And we had our runs right out of the gate. Charlotte did a nice job. They made some runs at us. They've got some outstanding players. They're well coached. Um, but I just feel like we've got a veteran team. Last year we came down. This was a new experience. You know, I know we're, we just have one senior. We have two seniors on the roster, and Deanna's the senior that plays for us. But uh, just the way they took the court, their presence on the court, I felt they were extremely confident. And every time Charlotte made a run, I thought our kids countered with great poise and toughness. So uh, as a, from a coaching standpoint, it's really nice to see that growth. And looking ahead to potentially playing Middle Tennessee, um, what, are you, what are you looking for game plan wise to, to get ready for that one? You know, we'll, we always prepare, our, our assistant coaches do a great job of preparing our our kids to get ready for our defensive game plan. And uh, no matter who we play, our focus is always on us, you know, and then we'll give them certain ways we want to defend different actions. But at the end of the day, and especially this time of the year, it's all about your team and playing to the best of your ability. And so mm -hmm. our focus is mainly going to be on us. Make sure the girls get treated um, so they're feeling good again tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.